Sorry, it is humid because it just rained. So we're gonna have a little, little fogginess for a second. It like rained for five minutes, not anything crazy. But it is supposed to cool down today and rain on and off. So we'll see. I think we're gonna do just a silly video today and I'm excited. But everybody's already out eating. I don't even know that it chased anybody in but the girls because they're such drama queens. Such drama queens. Are you guys drama queens? Possibly. This place is like burning. Hmm, check it out. Fog went away, that's good. Well, good morning. Hello, Princess, what are you doing? Huh? What's everybody doing? Besides yelling and screaming. Pops, are you just yelling and screaming? Is that just what you're doing? So we're doing them. All day, every day. Okay, are you guys ready for breakfast? Oh, well we're ready to fight. Are you ready, are you ready giraffe? Are you ready? We should just name you giraffe. We should have, my daisy. Mom, I don't like being called a giraffe. <laughs> okay, so let's get them sorted before they all kill each other. Mischievous today. Look at Cece. She's behaving. She's over there. She's been milked. She's out of the way. I got all these rascally friends. They're standing here. Link, I don't know what they're doing. And that one, of course, it insists on headbutting everything. It's the chill side of the barn over there. This is the not chill side of the barn. Yeah. That's right, Pops. It is. Milk production has been steady. I've been really pleased, even with it being so hot. Everybody seems to be really consistent. We may drop Nani off. She really isn't producing much milk at all. And she, of course, not standing here. 
she's walked out. Maybe a cup. There's not enough pressure in her udder for the pump to work well and end up hand milking her and she is not one of my favorites to hand milk. She doesn't mind it. Her udder texture is just harder to milk. So. We may drop her off. We will, especially before we go on vacation here at the end of July. We'll not keep milking her. And probably what I'll do is just put her in with Pepper and Tink in the mornings and let her have breakfast with them. It's just the parasites. She struggled with parasites and Twiz has as well, but Twiz is still producing over two cups of milk a day. And everybody is. Everybody's right at about two or a little bit more. She's a little bit more than two. Poppy's a little bit more than two. And Bunny is a little bit more. The white goat that you can't see is more than two. But like Cece and Padme both right at two cups. Nani barely giving me a cup. So probably gonna drop her off the rotation before long. I really love her. She's like one of my favorite just goats to spend time with because she's so sweet and calm. And so I love having her on the stand because I get to love on her a little bit, but it's just not practical. All right, let's get out for the day, guys. Somebody's burning something. That was why it smelled like something was on fire. I can definitely tell now. I don't know where. It definitely sounds like somebody has like a burnt pile going this morning. Jeremy has gone to get the mower so that we can mow today. Finally, I think it's been like three weeks since we mowed this backyard. It needs it. Thankfully, it's the time of year where it's hot so the grass isn't growing as fast because there's not as much rain. Good morning, Pega Wiggles. Are you hungry? Are hungry pigs? Uh, you spilled all the food yesterday. Tooney, you did. You spilled all the food. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go have breakfast, come on. Okay, let's go, it's over here. It's over here, come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, you two. Come here, Toonie's bowl. That's okay. All right, Bubba's. There are bowls everywhere and they're all upside down. Just eat on top of the bowls today. I'll be okay. good out here it's nice and breezy huh you're gonna have your after breakfast naps or we're gonna come eat we're not sure mom I still have the scoops so they're mildly interested in what I'm doing come on ladies their water was full so I left it out here I've been filling it up in the middle of the day with just some milk jugs full of water it's all gone by about one or two o'clock they they spend a lot of time over here and this is really eaten down I don't really understand why. There must be some specific something in that corner they really like. But as long as this is full, they tend to stay out here. The reason that I'm not letting them in with the pigs and like not opening all of that up, two reasons. Number one, we've talked about we don't want the pigs in the barn. 
The second reason is when we leave for seven, eight days in July, and I'm gonna have my farm sitter and my parents over here taking care of them, we are not going to do all the opening and closing of gates business while we're gone. So what I want them to be able to do is the pigs pen to be really tall and full of grass. They're gonna stay in there for a week and then the girls will go and graze that other section of pasture that they haven't been on in over a month and kind of eat that down a little bit as well. And so that's kind of the goal so that there's plenty of things for the, number one for the pigs to eat and then for the girls to eat. It's gonna be July, it's very hot. The pigs are not grazing a ton during the day anyway. They're really out really early, like at daybreak, and then they're out in the evening. But during the middle of the day, they sleep. What we decided to do instead of mow this little spot is to buy one more net for now and get step it out to where we get everything that they didn't hay basically in the nets. We'll make a little path here and kind of clean that up so that we're not super close to the neighbor. And then they'll have all of this until it's gone, well into the fall probably. What we are gonna do today after the camera cools down, I've got a weed eat, so I'm gonna go do that. Somebody this week was asking me about the pigs and how they were doing, just like being polite. I mean, like, how are your animals? And I was like, oh, they're doing good. You know, it's hot, they're ornery. And I was talking about the pigs are draining the water out of their pool every day and Toonie's been scratching on the water and she's gonna break it. And I'm always telling her like, oh, quit doing that. I shouldn't break the water, you silly pig. Like you have, and you have this pool, you have a mud hole. And they kind of look at me like, Claire, do they talk back? Yeah, but you know, yeah, Toonie. Toonie does talk back. You guys know Toonie definitely talks to me. Um, obviously not like in English where I can understand her, but she has different vocalizations for different things. So I think today, I'm gonna try to have a conversation with our pig to explain maybe to those of you who don't have pigs how she has different vocalizations and how she will kind of talk back and forth with you. Again, not really having a conversation, but she is kind of communicating in the way pigs do. Versus these guys who just yell and scream at you that they're hungry pretty much all the time. So I think that's gonna be today's fun video after I get my chores with the grass done this morning. So stay tuned. Honey, stop screaming. Stop yelling. Duke's yelling at us. Ever, why are all the animals so noisy? Our neighbor Stanley was over swimming earlier, but they've been over here like all day long. I can't imagine he's just now noticing. I did not come back out, guys. We were out here mowing and weed eating and doing yard work until like after two o'clock today, and um, I was kind of pooped at that point. So we're gonna go have our conversation with Toonie now. I just think it was really funny, and I think you can't be a contact creator and not like be able to poke fun at yourself a little bit. And it was just really funny. It was somebody that didn't know me very well, and they were just trying to like be nice and ask about my animals. And but are there any of you guys out there that just like talk to your animals? I talk to them all the time. I mean, you guys obviously watch me talk to the animals all the time, but it was the first person that was ever like a little bit like you're having this full-blown conversation with a pig and it's like, well, you haven't met this pig and she likes to talk. Piggies, what are you doing? I have some big treats. What are you guys doing? <laughs> we did mow down a little bit out here. I think maybe for Wednesday's video, we'll take a trip out to the creek. So maybe do that in the morning and I'll walk down to the inlet in our neighbor's yard. We can't actually get down to the creek in our yard, but they're super nice. Hello! Hey, we're coming just to talk to you. Yeah? Are you hoping mom has snacks? Yeah. Pork chop, what about you, bud? Hi! You gotta you got move. You gotta move so mom can't come in. What do you think? Yeah? Do you need scratches? What about you? Would you like scratches, pork chop? Oh, don't bite my toes. Would you like a scratch? Hmm? Yeah? The old pork chop. Is that good? Are you jealous? Mm-hmm. Come on, let's walk in your pen. Mom has some treats for you in her pocket. Come on, come on, piggy piggies. Hello. 
<laughs> I know, it's a long walk. You gonna come? Pork chop. We're not going to the backyard, Burrow. Come on. Some of you guys pointed out a few videos ago that uh, you didn't realize how well endowed pork chop was, and his testicles seem to get bigger at times. I don't know what that's about. Come on, Junie. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on, bud. It's not sleeping. Look. Look what mom has. Oh, yes. Yum. Was that good? Come on, poor job. Y'all, this pig. Poor job. Come on, Bubba. Come on, poor job. There you go. He does not grump near as much. He's not as chatty as this one. Yeah, mom brought you some more treats. Come on. I love if you had better piggy manners, but you don't. Oh, I dropped it. It's right there. Find it. Pork chop. Come on, buddy. Big pig. Come on, big pig. What do you think? Hmm? Everybody was asking me if you talk back. Do you talk back when mom talks to you? Do you? Yes, of course you do. Of course you do, mom. Hmm? I don't know. I think pigs have really different vocalizations for different things. She kind of has this high-pitched squeal when she's hungry and she really wants something to eat. Come on, pork chop. Come on, buddy. And like right now, this kind of like low key grunt that she has going on is just, she's just kind of talking like, hey mom, I'm here. I would really like more of those if you have them in your pocket. I do, but I, re I really need the big pig to come on. Uh, and then she kind of does this, this kind of like huffing and puffing when she just wants a belly rub. Mm -hmm. Like she just wants some snuggles. And she just talks pretty much all the time. She's always making noise. Aren't you too? Come on, pork chop! No! Y'all, this big. And she gets jealous, and so she makes kind of a noise when pork chop gets pets and she doesn't. It's just very different. So, I don't know, I guess because I hang out with them all the time, I know the differences in their vocalizations. Uh, but it does sound different. Like, we're like the goats basically are one tone. Like they're always making the same sound whether they're hungry. They do have, all animals have a different like danger voice. Um, if something scares them, that's a little bit different. But for the goats, they make the same sounds. Like they're in heat, it's just louder, but it's the same sound that they make when they're hungry. It's just louder and more frequent, so. But these guys seem to have different tones for what they're talking about. You should do a girl. Should we get you one more treat? Hmm? Hmm? Want you back another one? <coughs> yes, right. Yeah. Okay, we had to go get pork chop. You could be upset if mom goes to get pork chop. <coughs> Can you get it? Mm -hmm. Now this heathen. Yeah, see you has all kinds of vocalizations, mostly yelling. Or the human, mostly. I think Coon and Coonies are kind of like Huskies. You know how Huskies like, have lots of noises? And they kind of talk to their people. I think Coon and Coonies are that way. Come on, pork chop, mama has a treat for you. Yeah, I got you some treats. You want some treats? Here, here look, pig treats. Pig treats, right there. This guy, the struggle is real. Oh, there they are. You had several. You did. Would you like some more? Only if you don't bite my toes. And pigs know their name. They learn their name really quickly. Hey, they're there. There you go. They're just really smart. Goats are trainable, but these guys, I feel like I could teach them to do just about anything. And you don't constantly have to reinforce them with food. Like, you do to get them to do it initially. But a lot of times they really get what you want just pretty fast. Now, they aren't always cooperative. I don't have any more. I don't. And from a behaviorist perspective, yes, animals do understand a lot more language than we give them credit for. All right, it is actually time to put you birds up for the night, okay? Come on. Yes, it is. <laughs>